In this video, we're going to demonstrate the differences in our non-self-learning systems, such as the Sportsman series, and our self-learning systems, such as the Light and Pro series. First, let's take a look at a Pro Stock run and a Turbo 10.5 run replayed into a self-learning TM Drag Pro. Here's what a self-learning unit would do on a typical Pro Stock run. Let's take a quick look at that Pro Stock run. Here we can see the track control corrected here during this rise and acceleration, as well as this on the gear shift, this shift, this shift, and this shift. The self-learning algorithm is looking at this rate of change. It sees this sudden change. It reacts. Now let's take a look at a self-learning unit on a nitrous 10.5 car. Here's how the self-learning unit reacted on that nitrous run. So here we can see the self-learning unit picked up this wheel slip as well as this area. Even here when the car got in trouble very slowly. And again here when it got into a lot of trouble. The self-learning units monitor the average rate of acceleration over the last revolution of the drive shaft. And from that determine the threshold of maximum acceleration allowed. If that threshold is exceeded, the traction control reacts, as seen in this demonstration. Now let's replay those same runs into a non-self-learning sportsman unit. The non-self-learning units compare drive shaft acceleration to a user-adjustable fixed rate known as threshold. Threshold 5 seemed to do a good job of picking up all the large slips without getting too busy down low. Threshold 8, as you can tell, picked up the smaller slips at high speed but was quite busy at the lower drive shaft speeds and may slow the car down. Now let's take a closer look at the data and compare the self-learning systems like the Drag Lite and the Drag Pro to the non-self-learning Drag Sportsman. We take a look at those runs. A comparison to non-self-learning on threshold 5 versus the self-learning on mode 4 on this pro stock run. This is the self-learning run on mode 4. You see it very quickly picks up each error in drive shaft speed and reacts with a correction. And then we go to threshold 5, turn on the corrections there. You can see it does since it's the same thing, except it doesn't see the smaller errors here at high drive shaft speeds, which the self-learning systems do pick up, as illustrated by the red and green corrections. And now for the Niger's 10.5 runs.
Threshold 6 did a good job of picking up the wheel slip without getting too busy early. Threshold 7 is getting a little busy early in the run. Let's compare these runs. We can see that on the self-learning system, picked up the wheel slip here, as well as here, here, here on this slow acceleration, as well as here. Going to the non-self-learning, turn on that run. We can see that it did virtually the same thing on this slip. Missed this one. Same thing here. Caught this one, although a little bit late. And caught this one, again, slightly later. Effective, but not quite as good as the self-learning systems. So as you can see, our self-learning models, such as the Drag Lite and the Drag Pro, are very intuitive and easy to use. And the Pro units also have some additional tuning features. However, the non-self-learning models, such as the Sportsman, is also very effective, but will require a bit more tuning from the user. And remember, if a user starts out with a Sportsman model and later decides he'd like to try a Lite or a Pro, he can upgrade simply for the price difference. Thank you for watching. If you have any other questions, feel free to give us a call at 888-920-7746 or visit us at www.moretraction.com. Some of the images displayed in this video have been generated using software by Competition Systems, Inc., RacePack. That software is not a product of Davis Technologies, LLC, and is simply being used to show the performance of Davis Technologies traction control systems.